Hey everyone, my name's Murray Fife. I'm a technical specialist at Microsoft, but I tinker around with a lot of things. And uh, every now and then I uh, create a video so that I can show you what I'm working on. And today I was uh, want to show you how to add mixed reality into Power Apps. And this is a new feature that has just come out of preview. So around about um, a couple of months ago in April, then there was this announcement that we'd have mixed reality in Power Apps. But just last week, that was moved out of the preview and is now available as a uh, standard offering within Power Apps itself. So you can see that we can go out and we can turn these on and we can go out and build Power Apps. So this is pretty cool. So I thought that I'd, uh, I'd give it a go and see um, how easy this was to, to build. So I went out and uh, created this app pretty quickly and it's just a simple power app that goes out and has a forklift that we can manipulate in the system. And also it has the um, ability to view in mixed reality and also it has the capability to place sizing cubes inside of my uh, mixed reality space as well. So, so this, this took me around about, around about five or ten minutes to build to, to work out how it all sort of uh, fits together. And uh, um, so this is, uh, this is pretty neat. Now if we want to try this out and see how it works, then it's, um, I've got my, got my phone here and you, you can see that and I'm running the mixed reality app that I just created. So this is going to give us a couple of different uh, views of the application. So the first part that's loading up right now is going to be the, really the 3D model visualizer. So this is something that you could add into the, um, any power app if you want to, to share what a product looks like. And that it also allows you to zoom in, manipulate it, twist it, and change it, which we'll see in just a second when it loads up. So now we can see the forklift in the um, mixed reality mode, or actually just in the visualization right now. So I can turn this around, uh, zoom in, zoom out, look at, inspect any part of this uh, directly here within the Power App. So that uh, that's pretty cool. But the a uh, cooler part of this is when I go into the uh, view in mixed reality. So what this is going to allow me to do is place this forklift in my um, uh, real space here at my desk. So when the mixed reality app pops up, what it will do is it allows me to use my camera and you'll see that it is uh, mapping my current workspace. And here's my desk. And if I tap on this, then the uh, forklift shows up here and I can manipulate it. I've made it a little bit smaller than, uh, than the normal size, but I can actually go in with my phone and I can inspect this and see how it works inside of the, uh, the current space. So this is, uh, this is pretty cool. So that's the app that I built. Uh, but what I'll do now is I'm gonna show you how I built this and uh, the steps that I went through so that you can go out and possibly build this yourself. So let's start building the app. So I'm inside of Power Apps right now and I'm just going to go out and create a new app. And for this, I'm going to create a Canvas app. The, this, I'm going to use um, probably just a blank layout and I'm going to use the phone layout because this is um, it's going to be running on my phone. So now that we've got this, we need to um, we need to actually enable the mixed reality components. So if I if I look here, then we don't actually have any uh, mixed reality uh, pieces that we can use. So what we do is we go into the uh, settings, we go into the advanced settings, and then just scroll down until we get to the experimental features. And what we want to do is find the mixed reality features, and then just turn it on. So once we've done that, then what we can do is we can go into the insert option 
and we'll see uh, these new mixed reality components that we can take advantage of. So let's start building this. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the 3D viewer. And to do that, we go into the Insert tab, and there's now a Mixed Reality option up here. And what I want to do is I want to uh, view So let's start building our app. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shape into the, um, just as a viewer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert and I'm going to go to the media and then look down here and there's a view in 3D component. And this, this is pretty cool. So all I need to do is I just need to go out and sort of add this to my app. And this is going to allow me to specify a 3D shape that I want uh, to uh, display here. But uh, we need to go out and do something before we, we do that because we need a shape or the model shape to uh, create the uh, object from. And this needs to be a publicly available uh, web URL. Now for me, I'm putting these items up into a GitHub repository. For some of you, this might be uh, new to you, but all it is is just uh, you just go to GitHub and you create a, a profile for yourself and then uh, create a 3D model. Now, I've uploaded my forklift here, and if I go in, then I can go and grab this URL, and this is going to be a publicly available um, item. Now, there's a trick here though. We can't go out and just use this by itself. We need to make a couple of changes. So, otherwise it won't render. So what we need to do is we need to change this GitHub and make it say raw.github user content. And then also what we need to do is we need to get rid of this um, blob option. So this is the URL that I want to use for uh, my Power App. So now what I'm now that I've got the URL, then I'm just going to go over to uh, to my Power App. That I've got over here. Sorry for jumping around, and then just paste this in. And then if I uh, press play, then this is now going to run. I can do it again. And now I've actually got a 3D model that I could have on my phone in order to, um, uh, to, um, to place in real space. So this is the first part of the app, and, th and this is pretty neat. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here to the Mixed Reality options, and I can say that I want to add a link here to View in Mixed Reality. So this goes out, and all this does is this creates a button. And I can just add this to, to my app. The source that I'm going to have here is going to be that 3D, uh, 3D model again. So if I'm uh, looking at that, then it's now uh, specified the source for my forklift. So now that we've got our uh, model loaded, there's one last thing that we need to do. We need to specify what the object width, height, and depth is. Uh, right now it's set at zero, so it'll sort of come out as a little bit of a funny shape. So I'm going to set this into centimeters and we're gonna find out the size of this, um, this object. Now to do that, I'm sort of cheating a little bit and I'm using Photoshop. So what this allows me to do is this allows me to load in the object and then it's going to show me the dimensions. So the width is 120, the length is um, 371, and if I go to the left or right, then I can also see the height of um, uh, uh, 211 millimeters. So this is, this is the standard size and the dimensions that I've got for, uh, for the view. 
So now we can return back to our, our view here. And so again, the width is uh, one is 12 centimeters. The object height is 21.1. And the uh, depth of the, pro of the item is 371, 3.71. So now we've got our dimensions here uh, for, um, for the view and mixed reality. So all I need to do here now that I've done that is just go and save this. And then I'm just going to publish this so that we have, have the correct version. We'll publish this as a new version. So let's see that in action. I'm just going to go back to my phone and uh, I'm going, this is my old app that I had. I'm just going to go back and close that. And then I'm going to reopen this app. So it's, uh, it's also going to tell me that there's a new version of the app. So I'm going to open that. And here's my uh, new view that I've got. I, don't, I haven't added in uh, the cube option or the measure option for this but it's going to allow me to view, uh, view the uh, forklift again. So now that this is opened up, again, we can do exactly what we did before. We can see the forklift that we've got, and I can now go and just say, I want to view this in mixed reality. So now what we've got is we've got the um, mixed reality here, and this time what I can do is I can actually go down and place this on the floor, and again, we can turn this around, we can look at it, let me reset that, and we'll put it up here on my desktop. And then again, we've got this view that we can take advantage of. So how cool is that? I've just gone out and created a mixed reality app in a matter of probably a minute or so, uh, going out and pulling data from uh, a GitHub repos uh, repository that I've got. And all through Power Apps. I'm not doing this through really any, any other technology. I don't have to write a single line of code, and that is cool. So hopefully this was interesting and gives you a little bit of an idea of what this new feature is and how you can take advantage of it. I think it's super cool, and uh, I know that I'm going to be using this in my demonstrations from now on because it's pretty darn cool. So um, Murray Fife signing off, and have a great day.